Question 19 is to compute the area under a curve using summations and limits. A quick reminder, please go to the link in the description to the lesson of area where this problem is explained in detail. Over here, I will quickly run through this problem, the example problem, and I will show you another entire different method which you can use to solve the exercise problems. And this example also can be solved in that. But first, let's recall this actual method. What we do is we need to remember a few formulas. Now, area is given by summation of i. It starts from 0 to n. Sorry, not 0, from 1 to n. It starts from 1 to n. And over here, we write f of x i multiplied by delta x. So this is the function of all the height multiplied by the thickness. This is the formula which we have. And now here, delta x is given by b minus a divided by n. The limits are a and b. The lower limit is a, upper limit is b. And n is the number of rectangles we have to divide it into. n is number of triangles, oh, sorry, rectangles. Now if this area is divided into 10 rectangles, that would be n. But here now they have not mentioned any n, right? So we need to basically consider n as n itself. So delta x will be 1 minus 0 by n. So it's 1 by n. That's it. Now here, what is xi? xi becomes delta x times i, isn't it? We substitute that x as like this. So now we are xi will be 1 by n into i, or we can write it as i divided by n. Now we will substitute back in the formula over here. What is the function? This is the function, but let me just write it out over here in the middle. i equals 1 to n. Here, instead of x, what do we write? i by n. So this is being multiplied. Minus 2 times i by n, the whole squared. And then we can solve it by using the formulas and everything. So we will just quickly run through this problem over here. You can see... I think so they have, uh, yeah, they have done the same method over here. A little bit different, but that's fine. Here, this is the important part. You can say, oh, now, it's good that I saw over here. Everything is right. What am I missing? I wrote this. I wrote the function entirely. I forgot to multiply this entire thing with delta x. That is 1 by n. So this entire thing is multiplied by 1 by n. Once you get this, you're just solving it. So this is the step one, step two, and putting it in the formula is step three, and now solving it up. Let's just go over here. It's simple solving. So you can see it's two. X is xi is i by n minus instead of the x over here becomes i by n, the whole square. Multiply this entirely by i by n. Now over here, remember this n, you can multiply it inside. It will be in both the terms, and then the summation can be multiplied inside. It will be for both the terms. And then you can use the formulas. They remove all the constants out. Only i will remain. Okay. This 2, n is a constant, right? n will be a number, number of intervals, right? I mean, number of rectangles. So n is all constants outside. And this can be solved by using the formulas. Now, I hope you remember the formula. For summation i, it's very simple. But i squared, it will be n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6, where summation of i is n into n plus 1 by 2. And these are the constant values. You can see they are the same constant values remaining. And then you simplify this. 2, 2 cancels. n and 1, n over here cancels. You're remaining with uh, n plus 1 by n. Over here, the same thing. Cancel it out. n squared remains because n and n cube goes. n squared remains. 2, 1 time. 2, 3 times. 3 remains. n plus 1, 2, n plus 1. And then you can take the common denominator, simplify it. And now you can take the limits. See now n, right? You can take the limit up to infinity. But now if you look over here, one minute, let's look over here. This is a formula for a n. You can find area for any number of rectangles. Say, for example, if you consider n to be 200, 200 rectangles you're subdividing, this is the answer. If you're considering 500, this is the answer. If you're conf considering infinity, then you can take the limit to infinity and find it to be 1 by third. So this is the actual way. But now I will tell you integral direct method. 
Now, before that, I'll show you in calculator what you can do to find, check this answer. Now, this is the written method. It's very simple. After you know the starting part, which I've written over here, right? This is the important part. Then it's direct substitution. Please go through over here. Each step is in detail. Each step is detailed and you just solve it up and then you get the answers, right? Now, how do you check this answer? Take out your calculators. The limit n to infinity for an area would be just basically integration. Now, here, since it's a definite limit, so it's told 0 to 1, substitute the function 2 alpha x minus x squared. And over here, it's from 0 to 1. Press equal to, you get 1 third. That's the actual area. Exact area, that is. So this is the thing, but it's in writing, so you can't use this calculator method. You need to do it in writing. But now the exact idea is over here. But now I will show you one method where you can use the integration and solve this one. So now imagine the, the previous method is fine. It's simple. It's, it'll just be i by n. Everywhere over here, it'll be i by n, okay? Uh, it depends on the limits. Over here, it's 2 minus 0, it'll be... Uh, delta x would be 2 here, okay? 2 by n, sorry, not 1 by n, 2 by n. So it'll be 2 i by n. It's just simple variation and then you can easily solve it up. But now, if you want to know how exactly can you do it by integrals. See, this is basically definite integral. I'll do, say, for example, c, because c is having two different, 1 to 3 over here, right? This will be x squared plus 1 dx. Now you have to solve this. If you're good at integration, then this is simple. Just integrate it out. See, why I'm telling you this method is they have clearly told the stream and sums method you ought to use. But actually, you can solve a problem in any method. But as long as the method is accurate and it gives you the correct answer, it's fine. You can use it. Okay. Before we solve, I'll just show you in the calculator to just check the answer later on. But I'll do it right now. Here it is x squared plus 1 and the limits are from 1 to 3 over here and the answer is 32 by 3 or it's 10 by 10.6 uh, it's 32 by 3 that's the exact answer but over here now whatever we do they have told exact exact area so this is the correct answer only this method or Raymond sums method to uh, equating to infinity would also give us the uh, n to infinity would also give us the exact area. Now I will solve this up. Integrate this. When you integrate, it will be one more power. x squared becomes x3 divided by 3 plus x. Now this is definite integral. So this limits have to be substituted in this. What happens is there's a rule. When you're applying the limits, the upper limit will be substituted first minus the lower limits. That means instead of x over here, after you integrate over here, see over here will be plus c. You can write this plus c as well, but it'll cancel off in a minute. Upper limit, it'll be x becomes 3 cubed by 3 plus again x becomes 3. Whatever x is there, substitute upper limit first. Plus c minus, see this is the entire thing with 3, now the lower limit. It'll be 1 cubed divided by 3 plus 1 plus c. Now multiply this minus sign inside. What happens? This is 3 cubed by 3. You can cancel this. It'll be squared. So it'll be 3 squared is 9. Plus 3. Plus C. Minus. It'll be 1 by 3. This multiply we again. Minus 1. And minus C. So C and C cancels off. Now let's solve it up. 9 plus 3 is 12. And over here we will have... 1 minus 1 minus 1 by 3. You can put this entirely in the calculator. You will get the answer. Yeah, I'll just write it over here. It'll be 9 plus 3 is 12. Minus 1 is 11. Minus 3rd will be 10 point. Uh, it'll be 10 two thirds. Okay. So now it is basically 10 to two thirds means 10.677 6666 or 67. That is basically 32 by 3 itself. Now I'll just show you over here. Ten, uh, it is 11 minus 1 thirds. That will be 10 2 thirds. Or you can see over here. It's 32 by will be 10.677. So that's the correct answer. Over here generally your answers will be like this. 32 by 3 or you know like a fraction. 
I wrote it over here because it's simple to understand. 11 minus 1 thirds would be 10 two thirds. So that's how we can do the uh, direct substitution and solving as well. Now over here, if you're doing the long method, you can easily do this up and then you need to take the limit. So this is for any n value. Substitute, solve it and then do it. Now one more thing over here, if it's any other limit, just this limit changes. See over here, answer will be different. For the first one, the answer is C 4 thirds. For the second one, answer is again different, 14 by third, 14 by 3. And over here we got 32 by 3. So the answer changes every time. All the other problems are same thing. Whichever method you use, answer will be the same. And I will do one more problem over here and I'll just use the method which I just now told you. I'll do for the minus 1 to 1 limit. So it'll be integral minus 1, the lower limit will be down, upper limit will be up. 2x squared plus 1 dx. We need to integrate this out. When you integrate it, it will be 2x cubed by 3 plus x plus c. Over here, we will have 1 minus 1. Now, apply the limits. It will be 2 into 1 cubed by 3 plus 1 plus c minus. It will be 2 times minus 1 the whole cube by 3. Again, it will be plus minus 1 plus c. Now we can simplify it, it will be 2 thirds plus 1 plus c minus, say it will be cube, over here what happens is minus 1 the whole cube will be negative and sustains, negative sign will remain, but because you have to multiply negative 3 times, 2 times it will say it is minus, 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 this is cube right, here it will be plus times minus, again it will be minus, so we will already have minus and this minus will be plus, two thirds and over here it will be minus minus again plus one and lastly we will have minus c only so the c and c cancels you will have two thirds two thirds and one and one so it will be four thirds that will be three one thirds okay you can just put in the calculator you'll get the correct answer okay so this is over here see my answer is wrong sorry uh no, that is uh, no. this one, B. Let me just check. Yes, it is 3.313. This is 3 one thirds. Yeah, I did the calculation correct. But please use calculator. Do it properly. This 3 one thirds means it's 10 by 3. That is 3.333. So that is how we solve it. Now, this is also writing method itself. Uh, technically, you can write this. But it's very small. So if you're finding this to be, you know, if you're finding out oh, this is very small and everything, you can just go with the proper method. Okay. But this is the uh, definite integral by writing method. So don't just do in the calculator. Please try to write something. I'm, I'm just doing this as a backup method. If you forget it entirely, try to do this. So please try the other problems. All the solutions are over here. It's very simple. The concept remains the same, the formula is the same. All you need to do is use the formula, find it, uh, find delta x, find x of i, substitute in the formula, then you substitute back and do it. Also, you can in the middle, you can directly try substituting the values over here, the formulas, and then you can take the limit by calculator as well over here. If you're thinking how to take the limit, we have done it before. Infinity means just substitute a huge number here and you will get the answer. So this is also another thing. Uh, this part, I mean the limit part, directly do in the calculator. So that's it. If you want this presentation, you can click the link in the description and you can find the presentation. So this is all the answer solutions. I hope that has been helpful. Please try to solve all these problems by yourselves. The concepts are same. Uh, it's an easy topic. Please solve each and every problem. Try to practice thoroughly so it will be very easy and you are very fluent with it. I will see you all in the next video.